I realized that the, the basic issues for the poverty and the, for the development of Nepal is the water. Every six seconds, someone in the world dies due to a waterborne related disease, usually a child. The water of our community is not so healthy and the wastes and garbage are surrounded everywhere and the rivers are very polluted. They dispose the drainage system direct to the river and also they throw a soil waste direct to the river. I think people have no other choice rather than this. Uh, if they make a safety tank but they don't have any enough uh, area for the safety tank. It's green and water, it's a, we're really a team, we work together um, and it's really brought awareness to like what's happening because before I joined this I didn't know all about waterborne illness and now I know how big of a problem it is in the world. People in Zambia, as an example, use less than 20 liters of water per day. As Calgarians, we use in excess of 300 liters. Students got thinking, can we change how much we use? And if we can, why don't we? Hey! It is our hope for tonight that everyone here will leave inspired and educated about the various water issues that our world faces. After learning about the WAS, I uh, held a program of cleaning our surrounding ourselves. In group, there are three members, each person at their own duty. One is sweeping, and another one is collecting the garbages, and, and last one is disposing the garbages in a one place. One of our other projects that we did was um, our school just renovated all of its bathrooms, and now all of the toilets are dual flush toilets. Um, but no one in our school had really known about that yet. So we put signs in all of the bathrooms. We came up with the slogan, it's flush it up, save a cup because when you flush the toilet up, it's the low flush. And so we put signs in all of the bathrooms uh, to tell them about that. So now everyone in our school is informed about that. Because for the healthy Nepal, for epidemic free Nepal, I am activist. So I am a campaigner. It's because uh, whatever there is a project or not, but the, my personal concern and my, uh, our, our youth's concern is always there to make a Nepal a epidemic free Nepal. Oh! I know in high school it's, it can sometimes be hard to, to be that person to stand up and say, you know, I want to I wanna help these people or we should organize a group. Nowadays I feel that, yes, I am a youth activist. I need to do so many things in this sector. And also we need to influence other youth to work in this uh, sector. Why not youth? <laughs> so we are, uh, sometimes we ask, that, why youth uh, get involved, should involved? So why not youth? It's because they are the energetic mass of the nation. My own interest in water issues has gotten my friends really involved in trying to help me start the club and even my cousin who's starting her first year in high school next year and she's like, yeah, I want to join the water project. I was like, whoa, I affected you. Change is started uh, with one person. So I, can, I changed, my friends changed, then one community changed, then national, nation changed, then the world became changed. So, the change is started with one person, so let's start individually.